no mother, I cannot come right now. I told I told you. I am con Mother, I am conducting a very serious investigation as part of my employment. I cannot just depart from the premises. They are counting on me. It is too an important job. Yes, it is. I, I am not a mall cop, mother. No, this is better than that. I do security in a retail establishment. I am not riding around on a Segway. Now, I do not patrol the food court, mother. There's no food court here. Okay, well, if you don't call another Uber, you need to quit calling Uber. I'm going to cancel your gift card if you don't stop. I, I don't like having to be this way, mother. Yes, ma'am, I understand. I have to be respect. Mother, mother, I have to go. Yes, my, my, uh, I have a person of interest I need to talk to. Very interesting person. I gotta go, okay? You, we'll talk about it later. I'll call you on my lunch break, okay? Don't, don't go anywhere. Okay, well, he'll be there tomorrow. I will take you tomorrow. Okay. Well, you could put your makeup back on before then. I don't have any Pond's cold cream, Mother. You used it up. Okay, I'm going now, but just a moment. Ma'am, if you would, I do apologize. You just have a seat right there. I, I'm not sweet-talking anybody. I don't have a girlfriend, Mother. Hey, don't make me blurt stuff like that out. I gotta go. You are causing me problems, and you're not even here. Okay, bye. Ma'am, I do apologize. I am having the most trouble with my mother. Do, do you know what it's like? You know how it is sometimes with, with your mother. It's just, I mean, it's just it's just trials and tribulations every which way you go. And I, I, I do apologize. I, I, I pride myself in being, you know, an upstanding, utmost, uh, indomitable employee. And I do work security in this establishment. Now, I do apologize for you having to come in here today. Um, but I promise you, we will make this as quick as possible. We have streamlined our procedure to where it is now more efficient, there's less paperwork, and I will get you out of here in record time, get you on your way to whatever you were headed towards. Where were, where were you headed today, by the way? Oh no, man! I understand it's not any of my business, but I've just, I just like to make a, you know, make a connection with people. You know, when I accuse them of being a thief, I like to make sure that we have a rapport, so you know we get on friendly terms. You know, I, and of course, I'm not saying you stole anything. I'm just saying you you probably took something that you shouldn't have. So we need to establish here today whether or not that's true. That's what we're doing. That's all we're doing. We don't need to involve the police. It's just you and me, and we're going to work it out, okay? You know, we don't need to escalate this to any anybody. We we could handle it. Um, So, see, you don't have to tell me that. that that's all right. It's just really none of my business, but uh, I'm going to get you out of here in record time. You, would you, would you? Would you believe it? In the past, the way they used to do these interrogations, they'd have people here for 15 minutes asking them questions and jerking them this way and that way. We have streamlined things. Things are much more efficient now. You will definitely not be here for 15 minutes. I promise you that because it's way more efficient now. We have kind of stepped into the modern age, so to speak. And uh, so... What we're going to do is we're going to look over your purchases here. I see that you have a reusable shopping tote. Yeah. Oh, no, please feel free. Put your purse over there. You know, if you want to hold it open and, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to search it, but I could just sort of look in it you know, just to make sure you don't have anything suspicious in there. Like, you know, any kind of, you got stuff in there for your husband or, I don't see a ring or anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> so I, I don't know. See, a lot of women don't wear wedding rings anymore. They they get married and they don't want to advertise it. I mean, if I, for me, if I got married, I'd have a ring this big on my finger. I'd want to show the whole world that I had someone special in my life. But a lot of women don't. You know, it seems like 
a lot of the ladies I talk to, I come to find out they're married, but there's no indication of it. They got nothing on the all-important finger. I just wonder how how likely would it be that we could pass a law that says that you know if you're if you're married and you're a woman you should have to you should have to show I don't mean anything fancy they got these little rubber rings you know you could put a little rubber ring or something you know it make things a lot simpler you know for for young men like me I mean it would be really good it would it would it would narrow it down. I wouldn't have to spend so much time and energy being charming. I could direct my charm to the to the ones that could receive it. Does that make any sense? Because I'm not interested in trying to find somebody that's already married, see, because if you're talking to somebody who's already married, see, they're already married, and they can't marry you. I think that's called bigotry. Bigotry? Big lots. Bigamy. Big, thank you. Bigamy. Is it bigamy? Polygamy. Is it polygamy? Or hi- polygyny? Pygmy goat? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, it's where, it's where you marry to more than one fellow at a time. I don't want to get tangled up in that and end up on, you know, Mari Povich or something like I don't have time for that. Jerry Springer, although I would like to go be in the audience at least once. That's on one of my bucket lists. It's a bucket list item to be in, to go up there to Connecticut, 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 and, and be on it, and not be on the show, but you know, be in the audience and get to see all the wacky guests and hoot and holler and I hope they hold up a sign because I'm not going to know when to whoop and I won't I won't know so uh but I hope to do that one day I mean he's only been on the air for 500 years I better hurry up you know because it surely it's not going to last that much longer he's been on the air since God was a baby and he's still on the air which I can't did you know that oh yeah I'm I'm sorry I got off on a tangent it's just that I find you to be very lovely, and when I when I'm in the presence of a, a lovely lady, I tend to get a little bit uh, verbose, and that means I talk a lot. And I get nervous, I get flop sweat, I keep deodorant under my desk, and I apply it regularly. I'm starting to think I need to duct tape it under my arms and just twist it occasionally, because there are a lot of lovely ladies in this store, and I find myself speaking to a lot of them, and. You know, and, and I've been wrong a lot. I, I, I would accuse them of being thieves, and it turns out they're not. And, and then they're mad at me, and then they don't, want to, they don't want to have a lovely conversation with me. They just say ugly things to me and, and leave. And i got to work on my technique in this environment. It's just not working. You know, I find that if one wants to find love in this world, sometimes they have to change the way they do things. And I'm just thinking that the way I do things is not working. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Um, anyway, I, I do apologize for accosting you at the door, but the alarm went off and I am required to accost that person, which trip the trigger so to speak and you definitely trip the trigger and you set off the alarm too and uh, and so i had to place my hand on your arm and must i say i must say that your arms are very toned and beautiful and they feel so good even under a coat they feel nice and and it was just it was a treat <clears throat> it was nice i think <laughs> mm. You must work out. You look like you work out a lot. Well, sometimes I go with Mother to Senior Zumba. um, And I've learned to do this right here. You do this move like this. And then you shimmy and you shuffle and stuff. But it hasn't done much for my physique at all. And Mother likes to go because she thinks the instructor's cute. And I said, Mother, that instructor is like a third of your age. I just don't know that you have a chance. She even bought these fancy Capizio shoes and little Zumba tights, and she's got her little Zumba outfit that she used her she used her senior security, her social security money on. And I think we could have spent it on you know more wise purchases, but she's, she's got the hots for him. She's got the hots for everybody. Right now, she wants me to take her back to the farmers market because she thinks the pumpkin man's attractive and. 
his name is Wilbur, and, and I have to keep taking her to the farmer's market because the pumpkin, you know, it's pumpkin season because, you know, it's fall. And, uh, and she, she found the pumpkin, pumpkin man to be very cute. And she said she wants to squeeze his pumpkins. And she thought that was clever. And she said that to him. And he just totally ignored her. He just turned around and walked off. And I said, Mother, that's just not very smooth. You need to hang out with me for a day and figure out what it means to flirt effectively. Because you need some help, Mother. There's a reason why you're single. And then she pointed out that I'm single, and I didn't really appreciate that too much. You know, I'm single by choice, because all the women keep choosing to not date me. So it's not, it's not a situation I'm happy about, but I'm working on it. At any rate, I do not enjoy senior Zumba, but I thought it would help increase my fitness level. And all I've learned is that I, I can't shake my shimmy too good. I, I just, my shimmy doesn't work. Not like the instructors, he definitely can shake his shimmy now, I tell you some. He can move, I can see why Mother likes to look at him dance, because he's very fluid. He's like a snake, he just moves like, I don't know how he does that. He's so good at it. Oh, sorry, yeah, so anyway, I had to accost you, I do apologize, and I know you were probably in a hurry, and, uh, and, and so, you know, but... These are, there are procedures that we have to follow, and unfortunately, if you don't wish to comply with those procedures, then I will be forced to call the police, and I'll have to get them to come assist, and that will take even longer, because, you know, they have their own forms to fill out, they got their own stuff, and, but if we could just keep it between us, I mean, that won't be necessary. All right, so... Uh, Yes. Uh, well, I do need to get some information on you, um, and, I, and I hate to do this to you, but I'm going to have to take out this thing here. Now, this is called a laptop, and I'm going to have to put some information down. That way, if it comes up later that we find out after you've left that you are a thief, we will be able to get you, and I will totally not use this to come by your house or look through your trash or peek in your windows or stand outside and wait to ask you out or go through your mail. I'm not going to do any of that. You don't have to worry about me waiting in your garage or, you know, sniffing your tires. I won't be doing any of that. I won't even ride by your house to look and see if anybody else is ever there. Other vehicles in the driveway or visitors. I would never do that. So if you would, ma'am, I need your name and I need to see your driver's license. Do you drive? Oh, you do? Oh, that's wonderful. You know, I love a woman that drives. That just, that excites me. Because, well, see, I drive too. And that's something we got in common. We see we both drive. And I think that's a fantastic way to start a relationship when you have things in common. Do you drive a vehicle? You, so do I. So, see, look at that. We're clicking already. We're clicking and we're hitting it off. That makes me happy. I hadn't smiled all day, and that makes me feel good. And so, <clears throat> you know what my mother says. You know, mother, mother says, Carl, you need to smile at least once a day. That makes you look better. It increases your face value. She heard that in a movie one time, like 30 years ago, and she keeps saying it. You ever notice how old people get stuck on stuff and they won't quit talking about it? It's like a broken record. I said, Mother, we could just make a recording of the stuff you say and just play it once a day. And you wouldn't have to keep saying it all the time. It, it was, okay, so I need your name. So if you will spell your name for me slowly. H, oops, I can't type. And your last name. All right, I'm still getting used to this newfangled technology. Have you seen these laptop things? It's some, isn't it? It's amazing what they can do. I think it's witchcraft, but they say it's it's like real technology or something. I don't believe it. All right, now your address. I, if you got yes, let me look at your. Okay, so this is your driver's license. Well, don't you have a nice picture on your driver's license? 
in my picture, I, I look like somebody just stepped on a dog and I witnessed it. I look, I look horrified and heartbroken at the same time because I was right in the middle of trying to say something to the woman when she took my picture. And in the corner, you can see the tip of my finger because I, I gesture a lot when I try to make a point. And I was trying to talk to her about the benefits of clothespins and I had my finger like this and I was kind of going, I had my mouth open and I said, can we please redo that? And she said, no. She said I had taken up enough of her time and I needed to move on and get on out of her, her booth and it was time to just go. So that's what I'm going to look like on my driver's license for the next six years. It's devastating. You know, sometimes you go back to get a new, a new license thingy and they don't even redo your picture. I wonder if I bribed them. Like I could, I could slip them, you know, like a can of can of spam or something you think they'd redo it for me or do you have to pay for that do you what do you do for a living oh what well, oh my goodness well that's wow do you have to go to college to be a teacher i always kind of thought i could be a teacher but um mother said that i should just stick to you know odd jobs because i was she said i have an odd job kind of face she said you just look like somebody that just work everywhere you don't need to lay it. You don't need to tie yourself down to working in just one place, Carl. You need to just, you need to work all over town. And I have lived up to that over my, well, not many years. I'm not that old, but I've worked all over this town. I've worked the whole Tri-County area, really. And and I drive around and I, I oh, here, sorry. I can give you your driver's license back. Oh, actually, let me see it again. Is this your correct address? So, yes, I... I'm going to set it right here. Now you live at, is this address correct? Oh, I'm not writing it down. No, no, I'm making a grocery list right now. You don't need to look at it. <clears throat> All right, that was just a grocery list. I just remembered that I need beans. And I'll put it in here too. I just, and then I'm going to need a, a phone number. Do you have a phone? Oh, you do. Hmm. I'm going to need a phone number. Oh, I just remembered I need to add something else to my grocery list. Let me just get that. Don't, you don't need to look at it. So what's your phone number? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just, I'm just writing down cotton candy. I'm out of cotton candy. Okay. Can you repeat that one more time? I'm going to put it in here. lovely okay now I don't anticipate any problems and we will not give out your phone number we would never do that we would not uh, we would not uh, save it anywhere or memorize it or dial it a hundred times and then hang up or any, any no we wouldn't do any of that all right now I'm gonna put this back now we've got all your information in our system that way if anything comes up in the future um we will be all right. Now, is this your shopping, right? Is this all your shopping? Is this all you bought? Okay, I see that you put the receipt in here. That's good. Okay, looks like you bought several things. And I'm seeing some stuff here. I haven't added up the total number of items in your little basket, but I'm seeing quite a few things here. Okay. Looks like you spent $52.10. Well, I'm not questioning that. What I'm questioning is why did you set off the alarm when you went through the little, little things? Well, I'm, I'm, well, I don't know either. And that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of. You know, we're trying to figure that out. So I, I'm going to have to go through your shopping. I'm going to have to look through your bag. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do it. So do you have anything to declare before I look in here? Well, that wasn't very nice at all. I mean, I thought we were getting along really swell. You got kind of ugly to say to me, do you want to apologize? Or Well, maybe later. Maybe if you think on it a little bit, you know, pray about it, you might want to apologize. That's kind of ugly. I wouldn't talk like that to you because I, I like to treat people nice. You know, Mother always taught me, you know, don't talk to people the way you want to be talked to. You want to treat people the way you want to be treated. 
I mean, I'm just saying, it's a golden rule. It's a good way to live. You don't want to treat people ugly. Well, I, I still think you are beautiful, but then, you know, inner beauty counts. And you just made a remark that just made me not, not feel too good about anything anymore. It made me kind of sad. Oh, well, I, I understand. I'm going to pick this up now. You okay with that? You have a, a festive tote. Did you color all that? Did you do that? It came like this? Wasn't that something? You saying you didn't do that? That's some good coloring right there. I wish I could color like that. You know, when I was in elementary school, I said I wanted to grow up to be I wanted to color for a living, you know. Mother said, you can't do that, Carl. She still, you know, she was telling me that I, I wasn't good enough at it and I would never be any good at it. And, you know, said, did we put our dreams away? She said, the best thing we can do is just put our dreams away, squish them down hard and stomp on them a few times. It's like you're pushing them down into the dirt and you just leave them there. And that is the way to live a happy life. You just put your dreams away. And that's what I decided to do. So uh, you bought this, you bought this tote looking like this. Well, as a teacher, I imagine you appreciate good color. And why, well, you know, I used to be really good at it. I know Mother said I'm not, but I was. I thought I was pretty good. Well, no, I never thought about trying it as an adult. You think I should? Well, do you have any, any supplies that you would recommend? I'd have to do it where she couldn't see me because she'd just make fun of me and, you know, tell me to stop because I'll never be any good at it. And Crayons. Cray do they still make crayons? They made crayons when I was a kid. They still make them? Oh. Huh. Well, may maybe, uh, may where, do where, where do you teach? Because maybe I could come and... Oh, oh, well, I don't see why I'd have a problem passing a, a background check. I mean, I'm just saying maybe I could come sit in your class one day and, well, I would be happy. I mean, how do you think I got a job here? I mean, of course I'd pass a background check. I am an upstanding citizen of, of, of this here Camden County, ma'am. I, I would never have a problem with a background check. You can check. Now, if anything comes up about some unauthorized gas cards, just know that was not me. That was somebody that was impersonating me. A lot of people try to impersonate me, and it causes problems. It was not me. I would never sell fake gas cards. I don't even know how to get a real one. I mean, how am I going to get a fake? <laughs> That's so what I tried to explain to the judge, but I still ended up having to pick up trash in the park for 37 hours. Community service, you know, that kind of thing, which I don't mind serving my community. I'd have done that anyway. So we're, we're going to go through your stuff now. Okay, so I do have your receipt here, and it shows what you paid for. But I'm just saying, you know, I, maybe I could come sit in your class after I pass a background check, and, and you could show me how to how to do some of that color and stuff. Well, I, where, they still make coloring books too? Do they? What kind? Oh, where could I get one? How was I not aware of this? Ma'am, that is fantastic. You are so smart. I can see why you're a teacher, because you're really smart. Wow. So, um... What uh, what does your husband think of you being a teacher? Does he know? Oh, you're not, you're not, well, <laughs> you know, if you're not married, then <laughs> I guess you want to be. <laughs> well, oh, well, no, ma'am, I guess it's not any of my business, but I'm just making conversation, you know, that rapport that I talked about where we try to, you know, make friends with one another. I'm just building rapport with you. Um, but, you know, I, I, myself, you know, how we had those things in common, you know, we drive and we drive vehicles and, you know, we have a lot in common. 
it looks like you shop for food. I shop for food too. I mean, it's, it's, we are, we are sympathetic, pathetic, empathic, sympatico. That's what we are. I heard that word on a TV show the other night and I got out the dictionary and I looked it up and I thought it sounded pretty spiffy and I decided I would add it to my lexicon. Lexus. I was going to add it to my Lexus. That's what I was going to do. And so, but, oh, yeah, well, no, but I do need to look through here, okay? Now I got to look and see what you got, and I have to compare it to your receipt and make sure that everything in here was paid for. Not saying that you'd stick something in here trying to steal it. I'm not calling you a thief outright. Not yet. Well, we're going to go through here and just confirm that you're not a dirty thief, you know, because I don't know if you know this, but... Taking things that don't belong to you is wrong. Stealing's bad. And we just, we have a problem with stealing. We don't like it here at this store. And we just, you know, it's like a pet peeve. But we really wish people wouldn't do it. But a lot of people don't know that. So we have to inform them that it's, it's wrong and you shouldn't do it. So I'm just informing you that it's wrong, and, and, uh, and maybe you didn't know that. I mean, if you want to admit now that you stole some stuff, you, mean, you can just tell me, and, and maybe we can work out a way to, you know, make it all okay. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe it's wrong, but <laughs> you, you're, very, you're very attractive, and I just think that maybe we could find a way to make it okay, and... You know, I mean, I, like I could pay for it, and then you could pay me back by buying dinner or sometime, or showing me how to color, or getting me into the school and showing me in a formal setting or something. Oh no, I'm I, I, I'm not trying to blackmail you. Why Why would I do that? This is not extortion. This is This is no 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 no. You misunderstood me. I I got you confused. I I threw many I threw too many big words at you, and I do apologize. I didn't mean to confuse you. Let me let me just look through here and 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 uh yeah, don't don't worry about any of that, okay? Just forget I said any of that. Certainly don't tell my supervisor cuz I don't want to go to any more seminars right now. I've already been to four just since midsummer and I, I don't want to do any more. Okay. What is this? Did you know Halloween's coming up? It's a coincidence that you bought this cuz Halloween is at the end of the month. So it's a good thing you got this, because you're going to need it. It looks like a butt. <laughs> so you're going to make some cookies. So you do, you celebrate Halloween. Mother doesn't approve of Halloween. No, she talks about it a lot, about how she doesn't like it. She doesn't like any holiday that requires any effort, so she finds some reason to justify not celebrating it. Yeah, and uh, so she... Now, she hands out packets of oatmeal, free dent chewing gum, and bean gay for, for Halloween trick-or-treaters that make the mistake of ringing our doorbell. She said, I'm not turning off my outside light for nobody. I have it on to keep the burglars away, and I'm not turning it off because them dang kids. I'm going to give them what they deserve. And she gives them rotten apples and, like, denture cream and... She's just vicious. She goes dig digging through all the cabinets and looking for old stuff. She's just diabolical. I don't understand her sometimes. I don't think she likes children. But now, if she was a grandmother, now, if they were her grandchildren, I think it would be very different. Um, are you nubile? Are you, are you interested in reproducing at some point? No, I don't want to get to... That's really more of like a third day question. I do... Just let me retract that. Just forget I said that. We could talk about that later. That's definitely a third day question. You can't get into that kind of stuff right away. All right, now I do see the cookie kit on the receipt. Now you've got uh, some... Ma'am, what is this? Skittles. I thought that was candy. Why is it in a box? Is that right? So you open these little tubes, and what do you do with them? Do you just, do you snort them, or do you drink them, or? You put it in water and shake it up, and it tastes like Skittles. 
Well, I'll be. I've never heard of any such a thing. Now you can take the great taste of Skittles candy anywhere you go. You could have them on a car. You could have them on a lunch box. You could put them on a plane. I thought you couldn't take liquid in a plane. Doesn't it blow up or something? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. So I don't think this would have a security tag on it. Hmm. How can you tell which color is which flavor? Oh, it's written on the it's written on the package. These Skittles people are smart too. Everybody's so smart. Sometimes I feel like I'm behind. Now I see here you bought some Madagascar no vanilla extract. Do you like to bake? Do you bake a lot? You probably do if you're buying vanilla extract. You know, Mother said I need to find a woman that can bake. Let's see. Because I can't bake. I can't even... I boil. I, I, I burn water when I try to boil it. So you got your extract on here. Your Skittles. Okay, so far... These are $5? $5 for these things. You must be rich. Well, I hear most teachers are. You know, that's... Well, that's what I heard. I heard that teachers make a lot of money. Do you have a lot of money? Well, there's something else we have in common because I don't have a lot of money either. We could be poor together. We could pool our resources. Because see, here's here's what's wonderful about it. Um, my mother, my mother uh, lives with me uh, in her house, and one of these days she's going to die. I, not that I'm happy about it. I'm not happy about it. It makes me very sad. One of these days, she's going to just... And that house is going to be mine because she doesn't have any other children. And my daddy left when I was small. He went out to get cigarettes, and we never saw him again. And But the house is mine. And so one day, I will own the home. And I would love to have someone there. Do you suppose in the future, though, that you might increase your salary? Because that would be good for both of us if you could just make more money. You know, that way we wouldn't have to struggle so much. But at least we'd have the house. You know, my mother does have an expansive collection of porcelain dolls. And, and they're everywhere looking at you with their creepy little faces and... We'd probably sell those in one giant yard sale to make room for your stuff. Um, you know, when we reach that point. But again, that's something we can discuss later. But yeah, if you could work on, you know, just increasing your salary, you know, start thinking about it. Because I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but making more money would make life easier. So if you could just make more money, um, it, it would it would open up a lot of avenues for me and, and you, and that would be good. Um, because currently, I am not making a lot. And, uh, yeah. So, Mother, like I said, keeps spending money on Zumba outfits and Capizio shoes. And, and I, I'm having to, to finance things. That, oh, so, no, sorry. Yes, ma'am. Oh, let, me, let me look now. We got cans of stuff. We got a can of something. Fair nose. Oh, sorry. Mrs. Fear, Fear Nails? Fear Now. Fear Now? Delicious Brunswick stew with chicken. I see you bought one can of this. It says Delish Chick. Delish Chick. Brunswick stew with chicken. How do they know it's delicious? What if you try it and you hate it? Do you get your money back? I can't smell it through the can. You know, with Mother's Cannon, you can always smell it through the container, and then it kind of explodes in the pantry, and you just have to hope you're not nearby. It may be delicious, but I can't smell it. Do you eat a lot of canned food? You know it's not good for you. You should eat healthy, fresh stuff. You know, if you made more money, you could do that more often. So, I don't know if you thought about that, too, but you could probably eat better if you made more money, so... If you get around to making more money, that would be good. Do you have a cat? You have a cat? Oh, boy. Um, 
well, you don't bring it to my house. That's my mom's because she's allergic to cats and she would not like that. Might be a way to get her out though. Allergies and, you know, not being able to breathe. Maybe you should come over. Bring your cat. What's your cat's name? Oh, Scruffles. Scruffles. Isn't that a dog's name? You can't call a cat that. That's a dog's name. Maybe you have a dog and you don't realize it. Are you sure it's a cat? Oh, okay. Well, you're buying cat crack. This might be what set off the alarm. Is this actual cat? Is this crack? It, I thought crack was like little rocks that are white looking. This is green. This looks more like that, uh, what do they call it? Marijuana. Mary Jane, Mary Ju, Mary Ju, what's that stuff called? Marijuana. No, that's not right. No, it's something else. It's got an extra fling in the middle of it, like marijuana. 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 Hurts my tongue. Marijuana. That's what this is. You bought some marijuana. I didn't even know we sold it here. Lord, it's got an odor to it, hadn't it? <laughs> mm. Well, I was not aware you were into drugs. That's uh, your ugly attitude and the drugs are two demerits against you. So I'm just, I was just saying, you know, you're walking a thin line. So, you know, if you want to be with me, we're going to have to uh, maybe work on that a little bit. Um, You have a can of cranberry sauce. Your, your marijuana is on here. I see that. Okay. So apparently we do sell it here. Uh, cranberry sauce. Why are you buying this? It's not Thanksgiving. Do, do, do you know? I can tell you something about cranberry sauce that I bet you don't know. Do you know why they put it in? You know why it's upside down? You know why you have to open a bottle? Do you know why? I know why. My uncle told me one time. He said a long time ago at the Ocean Spray Factory. Um... The, the person that owned it, their son was working on the assembly line and he accidentally was putting the labels on upside down like this. See, it's supposed to be like this, but their son was putting it on upside down and, uh, and, and the owner didn't have the heart to tell him that he was doing it wrong. So he ordered all the other employees to just keep doing it that way. So it wouldn't hurt his feelings and discourage him, you know, being new on the job. So ever since then, they've been putting them on there upside down. That's a fact. I know it's a fact because my uncle told me. And my uncle's real, real smart. He is. He, he works at the dump and he's, he is so smart. But that's why they do it. Because the owner's son screwed up and didn't want to hurt his feelings and discourage him when he was new on the job. So now they still do it, even though he probably died a thousand years ago. So that's why it's on there upside down. So you learn something today. See, even as a teacher, you can learn. And you have, you don't eat this, do you? Your cranberry sauce is on there. Wood boiled linseed oil. Furniture clinic. You got some sick furniture. Well, it's on here. Uh, it's a finish for wood. <laughs> wood. <laughs> you get a rub on some wood. <laughs> oh my goodness! You you have an alternative list of hobbies, don't you? What are you gonna do with it? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess that would work for a birdhouse. Got a lot of it in here, though. I don't see a security tag on it. You have a lot of interests. You do a lot of different things. You're going to make cookies, and you, you're going to bake with the, the vanilla, I suppose. What else do we have in here? We have cat food, a little thing of cat food. That is on here. Pate. You ever look at some of these and think they'd taste good? Oh, I mean, on the, you know, this cat looks happy. I think this cat likes it. I kind of want to try the savory chicken entree. Perfect portions, one serving. So it's one for you and one for the cat. 
Why can't people eat it? Does it say on here people can't eat it? Oh, it does. Well, how could you read that tiny prince is not fit for human consumption? Well, that's disappointing. So if, if somebody were to um, maybe eat some, you know, tender vittles, say, maybe every Tuesday night, like Taco Tuesday, but it's tender vittles Tuesday, um, that's probably something they should stop doing, even though it's quite scrumptious in, in somebody's opinion. But yeah. I think they would probably want to stop because it's probably not fit for human consumption either. Mother's going to be mad. Maybe we'll just tell her we're switching to pork chops. Or tacos. Either way, I'm talking about somebody else. That's other people. And you have... Oh, cat treats. Now, these I recognize. You got a cat in the milk. Look at he's in the milk. Dairy flavor, creamy dairy flavor temptations. Okay, do you have your cat food is on here and your cat treats? Okay, so far so good. I, I don't think you're a thief yet. Let's see. Bonnie Mammon. Bonnie Mammon. Strawberry preserves. Oh, it's written in fancy script. Look at that plaid lid. This is from this is a product of France. You buy fancy jelly. I'm jealous. Mother just steals the jelly packets that are in the bins at Biscuitville. Do you know how long it takes to squeeze a bunch of jelly into a casserole or Swedish meatballs? You know how long No, not sweet it. The ones that you do in the crock pot. I'm there all day squirting packets of stuff into the crock pot. My mother's there like, Will you hurry up? I know to get this ready for the potluck. And I'm telling her mother, can we just go get some jelly? You use the little packets right there. They're free. Sometimes I think her, she takes her frugality too far. And then I end up suffering because of it. Carefree. Well, I'm carefree. What is, are these band-aids? Oh. 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 Oh, God. That's, that's panty stuff, isn't it? Oh, dear. Ooh. I mean, not that it's gross, I mean, but I shouldn't be touching that. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have touched your, your panty thing. Oh, I'm very sorry. Ugh. I feel dizzy. Uh, they're on there. They're on there. I, I don't want to look at that anymore. Um, ugh. Rum. I could use some rum right now. I feel dirty. You're, ma you're baking with rum, too? Rum extract. What kind of baking do you do? You got this, and you got rum. Oh, and I see it's on here. I see it's on here. Um, well, that's impressive. Okay, you, you, make all, you make cakes and stuff. Old Mother would love that, but, you know, when if you ever make one for her, don't tell her you put anything like this in there because she is very against drinking... Well, she's, she's against drinking, you know, on the surface, but it's weird because she has strange exceptions for it because every now and then I'll find her with a little bottle of something, but she always says it's for her neuropathy or her neuralgia or her neuroses or something, and somehow that makes it okay. She said Jesus was fine with it as long as it helped her her problems, you know, like it, it, Jesus said it was okay. I don't know if she literally talks to Jesus and hears this stuff, I'm almost afraid to ask because I don't feel like taking her back to the facility and having to fill out again. There's so much paperwork. And I'm so glad we streamlined things here and made it so much faster for people like you. Could you imagine being stuck here for 15 minutes? And those, you know, hey, but we, we try to improve. We try to do better. And we have definitely sped this up. Yep. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yes. You have one more, so far everything checks out, you have one more thing. Oh, I bet this was it. I bet it, why do you have lighter fuel? Okay, now it is on there, but there is a security tag on it. 
there's a security tag and I bet it didn't get, you know, deactivated. I bet this is what set it off right here. That's it, because that's everything in your in your little box. So, uh, were you planning on burning your house down and making it look like an accident? Do you think, how much lighter fuel do you think it would take for something like that? Not that I want to do it. But uh, with all due respect, I mean, if that's what you're planning to do, I don't believe this is going to be enough to do it. I mean, I think you're very nice, but I just don't think this would work. Oh, 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 no, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, it's it's not, it, <laughs> I'm not, I, I never said you were going to do it. I, I just asked if you were thinking about doing it. I mean, I don't want to get you in trouble with the insurance company. Listen, the cameras in here are fake. They don't work anyway. That's not even real. They bought that online. It's a fake camera. It, it doesn't work. All the cameras in the store, a lot of the cameras in the store are fake. Now, I'm not going to tell you which ones, in case you ever want to do any thieving in the future. I'm not going to tell you which ones are fake. Some of them are fake. Um, but I bet you it was that lighter fluid that set that thing off. We're just going to labor under the assumption that you don't have anything in that pocketbook that you shouldn't. I don't spot anything from here anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to put all your items back in here. And I apologize for fondling all your things. I, I did wash my hands before we got started. And uh, I'm going to put them all back. Does it matter what order they go in here? Well, I'll try to I'll try to get them in here the right way. Let's get your cookies in here. Got your cookie kit. Cat treats. Don't forget those. And your receipt. So it looks like you're good. Now, um, I just wonder if you are good for, say, Tuesday night. Maybe I could swing by and show you my El Camino. That's not that's not a euphemism. I literally have an El Camino, and you could you could ride with me. Now, if we are out after dark, you're gonna have to drive me back because of my night blindness. I can't drive after dark, and the days are getting shorter. So, unless we have the early bird special at the Waffle House, you're probably gonna have to drive us back. But that's okay, cause um, you know. Couples help one another out. We like to help each other. Oh, you busy. Um, well, I'm free Wednesday night. Okay. Well, if you're busy every night, every night for forever. If you're busy every night forever, that could be a problem. I tell you what. Um, how about this weekend? How about during the day? Nah. Well, I tell you what, you think about it. You think on it a little bit, and I'm going to, you know what I'll do? I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I have a cellular phone. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag, but I have a cellular phone, and I actually have my own phone number. I'm going to write it on here. My name is Carl. Carl. I'm going to put my name on here. See, it's spelled C-A-R-L. I think that's the regular spelling. I'm going to put my phone number on here, too. You uh, And I'm just going to leave it up to you. The ball is in your court, young lady. If you change your mind and you want to go out to eat. Now, please let me know before the 30th because I have some Arby's coupons that expire on the 30th. And if we want to go out... Um, Two can dine for $9.99 up through the 30th, so you keep that in mind. You could have a date with Carl. Yeah, it only really cost you $9.99, and, uh, and, and you can get a ride in the El Camino. So here is your stuff. Here are your lovely items in your lovely little tote, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Well, maybe we did make you stop by, but thank you for visiting with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day, young lady, and I will see you again soon.